Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel Radiant Pharma. Today, we are going to discuss regarding RH deficiency syndrome. Now, let us see the contents which we'll be going to discuss in this video. Definition of RH deficiency syndrome, RH factor and its importance, types of RH antigens, importance of RH antigens, types of RH deficiency syndrome, etiology, pathophysiology, clinical manifestations, diagnosis, treatment, and interesting facts. Now, let us go through the definition of RH deficiency syndrome. RH deficiency syndrome is also known as RH null syndrome. It is a rare blood disorder where people have red blood cells lacking all of the RH antigens. The people with this rare condition are said to have golden blood. Now, let us know what is RH factor and what is its importance. RH factor is nothing but an inherited protein which is found on the surface of red blood cells. RH factor is also referred to as RHD antigen. If your blood has this protein, then you are said to be RH positive. If your blood lacks this protein, then you are said to be RH negative. RH factor is an important characteristic of red blood cells. It indicates whether the blood of two different people is compatible when mixed, such as the blood of mother and baby at birth. For example, if the mother is Rh negative and the fetus is Rh positive, then the mother's immune system identifies the fetal cells as foreign and produces antibodies against the fetal cells, which destroys red blood cells of the fetus and may pose serious problems during birth. Now, let us discuss the types of RH antigens. There are 49 different types of RH antigens known so far. Among them, there are 5 main RH antigens known as capital D, capital C, small c, capital E and small e antigen. And there are two important genes, RHD which codes for D antigen and RHCE which codes for a combination of capital C, capital E, or small c, and small e antigen. Now, let us see what is the difference between Rh negative individual and Rh null individual. The person with Rh negative blood group lack only Rhd antigen, whereas the person with Rh null blood group lack all of the 49 different Rh antigens known. Now, let us see what is the importance of Rh antigens. Rh antigens maintain the integrity of the RBC membrane. Red blood cells which lack Rh antigens have an abnormal shape that is stomatocytosis and spherocytosis. By looking into the picture, you can rule out the difference between normal RBCs and the RBCs with abnormal shape. Stomatocytosis is a rare condition of RBCs in which a mouth-like or slit-like pattern is replaced by the normal central zone. And spherocytosis is a condition in which the RBCs appear like a sphere rather than its normal biconcave disc shape. Lack of RH antigens may result in osmotic fragility which is nothing but the tendency of RBCs to break down easily. Lack of Rh antigens may shorten the lifespan of RBC resulting in hemolytic anemia which is mild. Now let us see what are the types of Rh deficiency syndrome. Regulator type which is associated with mutations in the RHAG gene. RHAG is nothing but Rh associated glycoprotein. The mutations in this gene causes stomatocytosis. Another type is MOF type which is caused by the inactive copies of the gene or silent alleles which are located at the Rh locus itself. Now, let us discuss the etiology of Rh deficiency syndrome. The only cause of this Rh deficiency syndrome is genetic. It is inherited in an autosomal recessive manner. Autosomal recessive inheritance in the sense both the copies of the gene in each cell of the individual are mutated, whereas the parents of an individual with this condition both carry one copy of the mutated gene. Now, let us discuss the pathophysiology of Rh deficiency syndrome. 
RH antigens form a complex association of membrane polypeptides. The core of this complex is probably a tetramer of two RH proteins and two RH associated glycoproteins. CD47 LW is nothing but lightweight glycoprotein and GPB is glycophorin B. These are accessory chains linked by non-covalent bonds. RH null individuals have abnormalities only in the genes encoding RHAG and RH proteins. CD47, LW and GPB remain unaltered. Mutations of the RHAG gene but not of the RH gene occurs in all RH null individuals of the regulator type, indicating that RHAG does not regulate the transcription of the RH locus but encodes a protein subunit of the RH complex, which is absent when RHAG is mutated. Conversely, mutations of the RHCE gene but not of RHAG arise in RH null of the MOF type, indicating that RH mutants result from silent alleles at the RH locus, which are deficient for protein production. And the role of accessory membrane chains in pathophysiology is not clearly understood, but some might act by facilitating transit to the cell surface and maturation of the complex. CD47 on red blood cells might function as a marker of self, since binding of CD47 to the signal regulatory protein of spleen macrophages provides an inhibitory signal that prevents phagocytosis. Accordingly, a defective CD47 signal regulatory protein interaction might explain the anemia of RH null individuals, since red blood cells from these patients exhibit about a 90% decrease in the expression of CD47. Now, let us see what are the clinical manifestations of RH deficiency syndrome. Patients with RH deficiency syndrome show signs of compensated hemolytic anemia, the severity of which is variable with deformities in cell shape, that is, tomatocytosis and spherocytosis. General signs and symptoms include reticulocytosis. Reticulocytosis is a condition where there is increase in reticulocytes which are nothing but immature red blood cells. This is seen because the bone marrow rapidly produces immature red blood cells to compensate the loss of destroyed RBC. In addition to reticulocytosis, fatigue, pallor, shortness of breath and tachycardia are significant symptoms of RH deficiency syndrome. In addition, symptoms related to hemolysis may be present, such as stills, jaundice, dark urine, and an enlarged spleen, which is nothing but splenomegaly. Now, let us see how to diagnose a patient with RS deficiency syndrome. Family history may reveal consanguineous percentage. Consanguineous, in simpler terms, is related to same blood. Hematologic tests will show signs of mild hemolytic anemia with somewhat low total hemoglobin count, hematocrit value, and mean corpuscular hemoglobin values. The reticular site may be higher than normal as we have seen earlier. The peripheral smear shows some cells with abnormal shapes, that is, stomatocytes and spherocytes. The osmotic fragility of red cells is examined by exposing them to various sodium chloride concentrations and following the degree of hemolysis. The serum bilirubin concentration may be slightly increased because of chronic hemolysis. As we all know, breakdown of heme produces bilirubin as its end product. Monoclonal antibodies can be used to determine individual antigens within the RH family of proteins and associated proteins. The test will show that RHG and a combination of RHCE antigens together with those of some other membrane glycoproteins such as RH associated glycoproteins are missing in cases with RH deficiency syndrome. Now, let us discuss how to treat RS deficiency syndrome. Treatment is individualized. Neonates may require phototherapy and or, or exchange transfusions. Now, what is phototherapy? Phototherapy is a type of medical treatment which exposes the neonates to fluorescent bulbs or halogen lights or any other light source. This phototherapy is used to treat newborn jaundice by lowering the bilirubin levels in the baby's blood. 
The main principle of this phototherapy is photooxidation. Photooxidation adds oxygen to bilirubin so that it dissolves easily in water and finally eliminate it from the body. Now, what are exchange transfusions? Exchange transfusion is a type of blood transfusion in which the blood of the neonates is removed and replaced by the donated blood or blood components. Both adults and children require folic acid supplementation to sustain red blood cell production. Children may be the candidates for partial or complete splenectomy depending upon the severity of disease. Splenectomy is nothing but removal of spleen. The most common complication of RH deficiency syndrome in patients is the development of bilirubin gallstones and it may require removal of gallbladder which is nothing but cholecystectomy. Now let us see what are the interesting facts related to RH deficiency syndrome. About 1 in 6 million people is affected and up to date only 43 people are said to be affected by RH deficiency syndrome worldwide. Patients with RH deficiency syndrome are at risk of having adverse transfusion reactions because they may produce antibodies against several of the RH antigens and can only receive blood from people who have the same condition. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel and do not forget to press a bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. Do follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter.